Okay, so now another method which I also include in this category which I call quick and dirty method is the following and it, this one is most appropriate when there is a unique eigenvalue. If you could in principle adapt it to the situation and you have multiple eigenvalues but when you have a unique one then this one really is uh, much simpler and it's the following. We pick a vector, a random vector v. Just try not to pick a too obvious one, even, and, but even with an obvious one, it might work. And now, we're going to call V, we're going to write U, just to be consistent, because we're going to use V to do two things with it. And for the first thing, we call it U. And we do the following. We use this vector U to compute U prime. Notice that here, we are not solving an equation like we, here, we did here before. We're not solving an equation, just computing. And now you take this u prime and then you put it here and this gives us u prime prime. And now we take this u prime prime, put it here and we compute u prime prime prime. And we keep going. Can we keep going forever? No. Because t minus lambda times the identity, we have seen this already, it's nilpotent. So eventually this will give, give you zero. When it gives you zero, you stop. Now, let's, see, let's keep going. What, what, hap what do you do with this vector after this? You do the following. Um, if you found fewer than n vectors in this process, well, you still need more vectors, don't you? So we want to find v prime, v prime prime, v prime prime prime, and keep going. And how, what does v prime, v prime, blah, blah? It's what we were doing before. So we're solving an equation here. So we solve equation and do this. And see if you have already n vectors. And if you have a set of vectors that spans your space. If it does, then you're lucky you found a Jordan basis. If not, well, you, you pick another random v, so you, you started by picking some random vector, now you pick some random vector outside the span of the previous vectors. How do you pick a vector outside the span of the previous vectors? Well, we know from Honor's Linear Algebra 1 how you complete a basis. So that's the algorithm, you write those vectors as, uh, as rows, you do row reduction, and then you see which vector you can add that is not in their span. Then you repeat this process. This may or may not work. In the end, if you got, if this process gave you exactly n vectors and they are linearly independent, they will be a Jordan basis by construction, right? Because they have this chain. You start with some u, you started with some u, and then from you apply n, and then you got u prime, and then you applied n, and then you got u prime prime and so on, until you got zero. So this is exactly what it means to be a Jordan basis. It's a basis which is completely made of chains of this type.